Thank you and welcome uh, again to the LifeA Forum. Uh, I will try to talk a little bit about uh, LifeA Commerce, which uh, is one of the new products in the LifeA portfolio. And in the context of the customer journey, as David uh, talked before, uh, LifeA has uh, traditionally supported both the acquisition and the retention of a customer but not the transactional part. So with the addition of LifeRay Commerce to the uh, portfolio of uh, LifeRay, we now uh, thrive to support more of this customer journey, um, helping also not only to acquire and retain uh, users and customers, but also to try to sell and uh, convert them, ending their customer journey with uh, commerce transaction. <clears throat> so why, why life e commerce? Um, if we see some, some facts and figures from uh, studies of the e-commerce environment, um, both uh, Forrester and uh, Customer Think uh, show us that there is still a lot of uh, room to improve and to grow mainly in the B2B uh, business. So for example, in the US, um, the, <clears throat> the uh, sales through the B2B platforms are increasing year by year, and there is a trend uh, going up. And uh, also, um, maybe most importantly, uh, there are few, uh, even though we think it's more uh, established now, but uh, in, in B2B, there are not many companies uh, which has uh, uh, successfully uh, implemented a uh, good uh, B2B uh, platform. And that's, this is causing that many uh, companies and organizations are making decisions based in incomplete data or even in, uh, incorrect uh, data. So this gives us a hint of the importance of a good uh, B2B platform. So um, why is this? Uh, it's mainly because um, all the B2B uh, business and logic uh, is normally complex, and uh, well, with life e-commerce, this is one of the of the challenges. We try to erase uh, this complexity, <clears throat> and um, also because uh, digital commerce nowadays uh, is no longer just about having a storefront, a shopping cart, and a checkout, but it's uh, more about having the tools to attract customers, make the sale, of course but most importantly, service the, the account over the long term. And also uh, trying to consolidate all the information that we gather in the process to continually improve uh, the, the, the decision making. You know? uh, some other facts <clears throat> show that, uh, as you know, the customer experience is key in, in success. And uh, e-commerce is no longer just about the products. So it used to be, if I have a good product, then I it will be easy to sell. But the competence is, uh, the competition is, is very hard. And companies nowadays, what they are aiming to is to sell an experience to the customers. Not only to sell products, but also to sell an experience. So this is more clear in the B2C uh, world, where uh, if you go to Amazon.com, for example, they are not just selling you a product, but also a customer experience, a nice experience. And there are uh, clear figures that a good customer experience have a direct impact in, in sales and in, in revenue. <clears throat> uh, also, uh, in B2B, this is may, uh, maybe not that intuitively clear, but there are also studies that a good customer experience have also an impact in a um, in the, in the success in, in B2B. And uh, also what, uh, with life e-commerce, we try to um, improve this, uh, make this customer experience your competitive advantage uh, to increase, of course, uh, sales and adoption and adoptions by uh, unifying the, all the experience that maybe right now is uh, distributed in microsites, marketing pages, uh, another site for the catalog, so we try to unify all this experience uh, under the same umbrella, so to say. <clears throat> uh, 
And also, of course, uh, making this customer experience to be personalized, that is key uh, nowadays. And we have seen that LifeRay DXP and together with LifeRay Commerce offers a lot of tools to create a personalized experience for each customer. And also, it's very important that this experience has to be omnichannel, of course. Um, for that, uh, we are in a very good place to create omnichannel experiences. Um, because, uh, for example, in B2B, it's very common that uh, the majority of the users are carrying a, lap, uh, an, uh, sorry, a tablet with them because they are on the road visiting customers, etc. Maybe they uh, try to uh, arrange a sale in, on, offline inside, but if they can carry a, a, a tablet with them, they can easily uh, uh, fin finalize that, that agreement. Uh, <clears throat> we have also all the uh, strengths and advantages of Life Ready XP uh, for features that are also very important for e-commerce, like the, the easiness to integrate different applications into one place, or uh, the consistent uh, user experience, uh, giving a, a, a consistent uh, UI and UX for all, all the customer journey. <clears throat> uh, from the... Um, more architectural point of view, uh, LifeRay facilitates the reusability of components. And also, uh, we are uh, basing our business in a scalable and very secure platform. Okay, this is also normally uh, <clears throat> very important. Uh, and finally, some other facts uh, tell us that the, this digital transformation is proven to provide uh, clear benefits and have a direct impact uh, that is measured between uh, a 10 and a 15% increase in, in revenues. So, um, uh, we see that uh, B2B and B2C are converging. So, B2B experiences used to be more raw, more um, ugly, so to speak. And um, the, the trend now is try to bring all the good experiences from the B2C to the B2B world. Um, not only because of this customer experience improvement, but also because um, increasingly all the users of uh, a B2B platform will be a native digital. So I don't know how, this, how you call it in, uh, in Switzerland, but uh, young people that are used to another uh, tools and experiences, <clears throat> and they demand also to, that, to have that in their, in their workplace with their tools. And uh, for example, uh, going or thinking a little bit outside of the desktop, uh, providing them with, uh, for example, chatbots or <clears throat> um, applications controlled by voice, uh, a more modern uh, site, website uh, experience. And uh, Life Ready XP uh, gives us a very good starting point to integrate and to provide these more uh, uh, modern tools to these uh, native digitals. Uh, so the, the vision with Life Ready Commerce, so as a summary, is to unify your commerce in a, in a, in a single digital platform. Um, how can we do that? So well, our uh, Life Ready backend is designed uh, from scratch to be integrated with external systems. So, <clears throat> of course, uh, in mostly known any business, uh, life ray is going to be enough. So, life is going to be a point of integration of different uh, systems. And <clears throat> we'll be using, uh, for example, the um, power of <clears throat> machine learning to improve uh, the, the customer experience, for example, taking the, all the historical data of all the orders of all our customers to, for example, generate uh, forecasts for uh, helping the customers or the seller to, um, to preview uh, how the business is going to be or to uh, help them um, help the customers to uh, uh, prepare the orders in advance, so before they, they, they need it. Uh, where is uh, Life Ray Commerce situated in the Life Ray landscape? Well, uh, we have Life Ray DXP that you all, you all know. 
And then uh, we have uh, Liferay Commerce that leans on Liferay DXP. And it makes it very easy to, uh, if you already have a Liferay DXP, it's, it's really easy to uh, incorporate commerce on top of it. And then also to have Analytics Cloud as a very uh, useful tool uh, that uh, integrates uh, in a perfect way with both with Liferay DXP and with uh, Liferay Commerce. Uh, all the products in, in Liferay has the characteristic that they were all organically built. So this means uh, nothing has been bought from outside, no other product has been bought and tried to be stitched together uh, with Liferay, but they have been growing all uh, organically uh, following the same uh, architectures, design patterns, uh, frameworks, etc. So this is a, a native integration, okay? It's, it's not like other companies that they buy a lot of products and then they spend like many years uh, trying to make this integration to run smoothly. But uh, Life e-commerce uh, from the, since day one, uh, it's uh, perfectly integrated with the rest of the uh, Life products. Uh, that this means so you will have uh, something like that if you um, um, pro provide a solution ba based on uh, Life e Commerce. Uh, you get a unified stack, so you don't have uh, a complex uh, integration uh, uh, of different uh, systems. So this means that you. Uh, you can dedicate less time to tricky integrations and more time to what you really want, that is that to evolve your business. Um, as you know, uh, digital commerce requires different uh, features in, in each stage. And um, we uh, now think that we cover all the uh, different stages of a, a customer journey in an e-commerce environment. So we have all the CMS uh, features for the attract and engagement uh, stages. We now have uh, all the commerce features for, uh, to support all the uh, pure uh, commerce core uh, uh, actions, or like transactions, etc. And we, got, we have the mix of both also to build a customer portal to empower business to um, <clears throat> be able to self-manage all, the, all their business with, with you, with the seller. So uh, this is a little bit an overview of uh, some of the features of Life e-commerce that uh, give support to, a, to each of any states. In the afternoon, uh, in the deep dive session, we'll, we'll see uh, some of them more in, um, in detail. <clears throat> and I like to say that uh, with Life e-commerce, you can build not, not just a shop where you have a catalog, you go, you buy, you go through the checkout, and that's it. But you can also you build a digital workplace for your B2B users. So uh, your B2B users will not use your platform only to go there and make their orders, but they, can, uh, they will see it as a very useful tool to um, their everyday uh, business. For example, um, <clears throat> uh, a customer portal can be made available for, for the customers so they can uh, manage all their, um, <clears throat> all their orders and have an overview of their pending orders that they have to finish, uh, to see a glimpse of the incoming shipments, to see a forecast of uh, how they normally, uh, <clears throat> the dynamic of their uh, orders through, through time, and the um, platform can suggest them, uh, for example, normally uh, by this time of the year, you normally uh, make an order of 200 units of this element because it's the time of the year you use it. So the, the, this platform can give you this advantage, this uh, different edge. So um, <clears throat> it's not only a place to buy, but also a place to, to manage your business. Uh, some uh, interesting uh, features of Life is, of course, the only catalog management and browsing. So there are a lot of uh, features to uh, manage your catalog or uh, either directly on Life e commerce or through an integration with an external uh, PIM, for example, or ERP system. And there are a lot of uh, features, uh, like it says there are more than new uh, 
20 new uh, widgets to help building uh, and making this, uh, this catalog uh, visible. Um, <clears throat> also some uh, uh, features to manage your, your pricing policies. As I say, we will see this uh, in detail in the afternoon. Uh, you can empower customers for self-management, uh, mainly in a B2B world with uh, account management, where the users are accounts and not uh, individuals. You can have uh, different users with different roles in each account. And also uh, tools to, to manage your integrations with this, these other systems, like uh, another PIM, an ERP, etc. Uh, this afternoon, there will be a, a live demo. Uh, these are the next steps. You can get a personalized demo. And now I would like to welcome uh, Charles Pinon that will uh, tell us a lot about uh, Life Analytics Cloud. Thank you. Good morning, everybody. It's a pleasure to be here in Switzerland for our first uh, big event in this uh, country. So I'm the product manager for Analytics Cloud. Besides that, forms and workflow are also in my uh, pipeline for products that I manage. Um, so we are going to divide the session into two parts. And this morning, we are going to talk firstly about the business challenges that we have and that Analytics Cloud is addressing. Second part of this presentation will be later on in the afternoon. We are going to give a deep dive into the product concepts. We are also going to address some specific issues in relation to data privacy. This is one big topic for this European market. What are our differentiators? We are going to have a product demo and by the end, uh, having an understanding about our product roadmap. So first thing, I would like to start with the end of the presentation and talk about the product availability. This product has been GA'd last year in October 30th. It's available for all our DXP customers and you can try this product. You can experience uh, uh, how the product was designed and have a glimpse of uh, the capabilities that we have in this product. So what are the business challenges uh, that we are addressing with Analytics Cloud? We have several customers in different industries, but I would like to highlight some specific use cases that helped us to build this product. We have a major airline company in Brazil. Uh, it's one of the biggest ones we have there. And this specific airline company, they have a portal to manage the loyal uh, program, loyalty program with their users uh, on top of Lifery. Main business case for this company is providing their users destinations in their portal so they can consume that destinations and they can exchange the points on their loyalty programs and purchase destinations in that portal. One of the big questions that this company has is which campaign is working better for our customers. We are updating our programs and the campaigns in our website day after day, and we would like to measure which destinations are more making sense for our customers. This is one small example that leads to that question. What content should I invest in creating more of? I have a marketing team. My team has limited capabilities. I have limited resources in relation to money to implement new things and make available for my team. So I want to be more effective and offer to my customers the content that they are more willing to have. Second question. I want to speak intelligently with my customers. When I'm in front of my customers, how can I leverage on the topics that they are searching, that they are surfacing on my digital experiences, so I can have a more clever conversation with them based on what they are interested. This is the second problem that we've been gathering from many customers that we've uh, talking to. Third problem. I want to know what makes a prospect become a customer. So I can over and over repeat in my digital experiences with other prospects the same pattern and understand and learn about how they are becoming customers. And most importantly, what makes them become customers. 
Fourth problem, I want to fix broken processes for my customers. I want to identify where these broken processes are. Or if I'm talking about inside my organization, I want to be able to track where my employees are having problems so I can go there and fix their problems. All of this to tell you that these needs are about learning. Learning about the behavior of your customers. Learning about the behavior of your employees. And that's exactly the foundation of Analytics Cloud. Offer you data. So based on data, based on facts, you can understand what is working and what's not working on your digital experiences. So learn, then make better decisions. Evolve from guessing to making decisions based on educated actions. Data is the new digital gold, and data is available to you. You have built your digital experiences. People are coming to your digital experiences, and based on the interactions that they perform on your digital experiences, you're able with Analytics Cloud to gather these interactions and understand their behavior. And one important thing, this is the future of Analytics Cloud. We just don't want to offer you data, but we want you to experiment over this data. So based on what you're gathering from your customers, your employees' interactions, how can you plan the future of your digital experiences so you can surface to them better uh, communication, better content, and what they need? So make your digital experiences your competitive advantage. Whenever you have digital experiences that people are attracted and they use it, make the interactions that they are having on those digital experiences your leverage point. Based on that, you can drive better insights. You can, after that, build better experiences and ultimately get a better result. So how do we do that? by uh, understanding two core principles. Who is your audience? And what these people are doing on your digital experiences? And most importantly, where they are performing those interactions? These are the core foundational, uh, foundational concepts of Analytics Cloud. And why it is important to have uh, and understanding about the channels that your customers or your employees are using, because when you build different channels for your customers to reach out to you, you are also having different views of your customers. And this is a problem. If you have different channels that your customers can relate to, customer support, sales, marketing communications, and you're understanding different aspects of these customers, you're fragmenting the needs of these customers. And you don't have a single place where you can relate to and you can refer as a single source of truth based on what your customers want and what they need. So maybe your customers are not looking for an upgrade, but they're looking for better services when they get in contact with your company. And I, offer, I often get uh, poked by my telecom provider asking me to upgrade my plan while I'm just, uh, 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 what I want is a better service from them. So this is the point. Learn what your customers really want. <coughs> And third main concept is make it easier to prove the investments that you're doing in on your digital experiences. We are building portals, we are building capabilities on our digital experiences, but sometimes it is hard to prove if those capabilities are leading to customer satisfaction or leading to conversions. So how can you measure if those uh, implementations that you're doing are really leading to results? With Analytics Cloud, it is possible to do that because with data, you can measure and gauge what are the capabilities that are leading to more customer satisfaction or disengagement from customers 
what's working and what's not working. So this was my pitch for the morning. In the afternoon, we are going to deep dive into the product concepts and we are going to see uh, more detailed uh, information about how Analytics Cloud is providing uh, value to your business. Thank you. <laughs>